Hi, I'm Corinne Lesh, and I'm here with Derek Edwards, CTO, U.S. Army. Hi, Derek. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Corinne. Thanks so, for having me. You're welcome. So let's talk a little bit about, um, we know the Army is not as agile, um, technologically speaking, and or adaptive to technology. Um, what is the Army leadership doing to be a little more agile? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't categorize us as not too agile. It's just a it is a, a huge, huge organization as far as scale. And so it, it does take time to address um, adapting to new and, and exciting technologies. And in my job as a chief technology officer, uh, I'm on the lookout for all the new technologies. Well, with that being said, um, uh, a couple of things our leadership does. Uh, number one is continue to be engaging uh, with industry partners who, have, who are bringing in uh, this new and exciting technology. Um, leaders uh, continually, um, you know, increase their appetite for, for all of the new things coming out. Uh, of course, our leaders who are an older generation uh, are leading younger folks at such a low level and at such an early stage in their lives uh, that, you know, these younger folks, they're born with the new technologies in hand. Uh, and they take advantage of them in their personal lives. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of pressure that leaders have to go through and that have to endure to bring the Army as a whole up to a level where we can utilize new and exciting technologies. Well, with that said, a second, a second thing we have to do, that leaders have to do is we have to balance effectively how much of the new technology we can try to bring on and take advantage of. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes that takes a little time. Uh, sometimes we can do it fairly quickly. Uh, but in some cases, it takes a little bit longer. Well, that sort of leads into my next question. What is the biggest challenge that you face as CTO? Good question. I certainly appreciate that question. As a CTO, uh, part of the landscape of my responsibilities is being able to, to bring in technologies that are new and exciting uh, and at some point make a transition um, between a, an older technology that has to be replaced. Uh, in the in the realm of new technology sometimes with technologies that aren't really ready for us to bring in to use operationally on a big scale in the army uh, the army as an organization is not ready for that technology sometimes waiting on a new technology to be um, mature enough or mm -hmm. effective enough for us to use uh, can be can be a little bit frustrating a another challenge is um, and it's probably a personal challenge, and that challenge is, am I getting this right? Is mm -hmm. this the new, the right, the m most um, effective thing that I can bring in for leaders to be able to have access to their data um, inside of their organizations to be able to do their mission um, effectively? Mm -hmm. Is it just right, uh, or am I getting this wrong? Right. Th those are a couple of the big ones that that I take on as a chief technology officer. Okay. And what would you say uh, is an achievement that you're most proud of? Out of, out of all the things I've done, I think um, helping leaders uh, have access to the data that they need at the exact time they need it, uh, being able to educate leaders at, at lower organizations, um, to have to take advantage of, of, of that technology that gives them access to the data that they need to have access to to do their missions uh, and then uh, interacting with people helping people to to be in tune with what what the army's doing and where the army's going uh, as far as uh, our strategies go with network um, our army network campaign plan uh, network modernization, improving cybersecurity, being able to help and educate people mm -hmm. uh, and empower people is probably the thing I'm most uh, proud of achieving. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, anything else you'd like to add? Certainly. Um, our public facing strategy, um, the Army Network Campaign Plan, its implementation guidance both in the near and midterm, shaping the Army Network, Army Cloud Policy, Army Cloud Strategy, Army Data Strategy. Um, anyone watching this video can easily have access to those public documents. Uh, they tell what the Army's doing and where the Army's going um, across the Army enterprise. Mm, great. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm Corinne Lash with FedScoop. Thanks for watching.